tired of pulling so many packs and getting nothing you wanted? Check out MuttStore.com for cheaper, reliable Madden 17 coins and use promo code GPH for 10% discount off your order and get the player you want. No homo, but I wasn't gonna lose because I wasn't gonna submit for no views. You see me if you see me. Hey, what's up guys? And we are back with some more Madden 17 franchise mode with the Baltimore Ravens 11 years into the future. It is year 2027 and we are week 9. We are 7-0 and and we are going up against the Cincinnati Bengals that are 4-3. and Now, we just um got past our bye week. That's why we jumped from week 7 to week 9. Our bye week was in week eight. Just letting you guys know about that, man. I, I, I'm a bit confused. I'm a bit confused, guys. Because when I go to my news, right? I go to my news. My stories. It says, searching for answers with our head coach all, like, upset. The struggling Ravens offense will need balance to contend with the Bengals defense. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you kidding me, bro? This is not making any sense. This is not making it. The struggling Ravens offense, bro? How? How are we struggling? Since when have we been struggling? I mean, like, let's just look at the stats, bro. The stats this season. Look at this. 1,000. 700 yards passing in week nine baby we are balling out all right balling 19 touchdowns he has thrown with only four interceptions he is balling out this season bro i mean let's look at let's look at the league let's look at the league man look at that look at that the highest quarterback so far has thrown for 2,100 yards. Bowlinger? Where's Bowlinger, man? I mean, we got to go down the list. Holy. I, I must have passed him. Right here. Bowlinger, 1,700 passing yards. So, I mean, yeah, we're down. But look at the completion attempts. Look at the completion attempts because it, it's different for with CPU, man. Like I don't, I don't know how the time works, but these motherfuckers get so many more play calls in their games than we do. It, it's it's unbelievable. Um, but look, passing attempts, two hundred and ninety, and then we're gonna go down to Bowlinger. We're gonna go down to Bowlinger. Bowlinger only has a hundred. He only has a hundred. We're still going down, looking for Bowlinger. There he is, a hundred and one pass attempts and he's completed 78 of those passing attempts he has a completion percentage of 77 percent like that that's crazy bro yeah yeah bro i'm the highest he has the highest passing percentage for any quarterback that is starting every game and throwing the ball man look at this only 16 passes for 14 dak prescott used to be on the cowboys now he's on the green bay packers but he's not even a starter bro like come on dude so for the starting quarterback our highest percentage we are the highest percentage in the league how the hell are we struggling offense look the next guy the starters the next guy is 73 percent are you kidding me bro are you fucking kidding me and look at this and again, this is how I'm, I'm saying, like, it don't make sense, man. Um, Bollinger is throwing 243 yards a game with a passer rating per game. Well, not per game, but a passer rating in the league of 141. That's damn near perfect, man. Look at this. With the game on all mad and the CPU um stats all the way up, man. Look at this. I'm still the highest passer rating in the league. In the league. Look at it. The next guy is one 122. 122. And we're at 141 right now, bro. Our longest attempt. Look at this, man. But we're third for longest. Sacks? This motherfucker got sacked. 24 times Marcus Mariota, man, which I might add is still with this, uh, the, the Titans, man. He's still with the Titans. 
But this year, man, we, we passed the ball, you know, so many times. Well, over 100 times. And Bollinger has only been sacked 11 times, man. He's only played seven games. Guys, and this is what I wanted to show you guys. I don't know how the hell, like, all these other teams are playing so many downs. Look at this shit, guys. Downs played. He played nearly 600 downs. How? Look, nearly 600. They're over 500. Let's see how many downs Bollinger has played. I'm looking for him. I'm looking for him. Right here. 156 downs, guys. Now, I want to show you that again. But I want to show you guys the yardage, the passing yardage. One quarterback has thrown more. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Well, sixteen quarterbacks in the NFL have more yardage passing than Bollinger, right? That's that's understandable, right? Okay. 16 quarterbacks have thrown more than him. But let's look at their um downs played. 462, 495, 461, 557, 510, 510, <laughs> 468, 480, 482, 489, 480, 454, 4, 507, 511, 575, 539, and 575. One, when Bollinger has only played 156 downs. How are we struggling, bro? How are we struggling? How is our offense struggling? Now, I do know running the ball, our offense is struggling. I do know that. And look at this, man. We still, well, we're tied for number one with the touchdowns passing, man. And we're tied with a guy that's been in the league for nine years when Bollinger's a rookie. Boy. Boy. Come on, man. Y'all better stop playing with me, man. Y'all better stop playing. And another thing I saw, and it was kind of it kind of pissed me off, man. Another thing I saw is let's let's look at this shit. Let's look at um where where is it? Is it team success? I think it's team success. No, it's not. Um fuck. Where is it, man? Team value? Is it team value? No, it's not team value. Where the fuck is it, man? I, I was just looking at it. Fan happiness. Yeah, I think this is it. Yeah, fan happiness. <laughs> Look at the side. Look at the side, guys. It says, at Ravens, do you even listen? Ryan Pickett is just not cutting it, which is understandable. Um, We need a lot more talent on the offensive line which is understandable, right? And we have one of the best stadiums in the league, which, damn right. You're damn fucking skippy. But when I seen that, it wasn't, it didn't say that. It said something along the lines of, Vickers is just not cutting it at wide receiver, which is fucking crazy. See, look, we need more talent at wide receiver. Look, if, if our tight end is not one of the best, I'm not happy. You see, it, it switches up every time. Every time you check it out, man, it switches up. And one of it, 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 one of the things it said was Vickers is just not cutting it at wide receiver. And that really pissed me off, man. Vickers is having a great season. He had a great season last year. But look at this team success. How did we go from 6-0 last week being ranked number 14 of fan happiness for team success to then becoming 7-0 and our fan happiness is goes up to a set uh, a 17 rank 17 how did we not go down more you know what i mean, how, I mean up you know but, but the numbers it's weird you know number one is good number 32 is bad so how didn't we go down the rankings because we went up in record you know what i mean like it, it, uh, who, who the fuck is making this shit bro how how man i just i'm just not understanding this shit i'm not understanding this shit and another, I, I want to show you guys Vickers, man, because like I said, it pissed me off. It, it didn't show up there, but you, you seen like every time I went, it said a new thing every time I went to it, man. 
so I want to show you guys, man. Like, I, I'm just not understanding, man. These, these fucking people. These people are just crazy, man. Vickers. Let's look at Vickers. Let's see the, the type of game, um, the type of season Vickers is having. 23 catches for nearly a thousand yards already, man. He averages nearly 40 yards a catch. 129 yards a game. He has 12 touchdowns on the season already. We're in week nine. <laughs> what? Like what? Yo, let's stack him up against the other NFL players, man. Look, he has the most catches at 58 catches. Vickers only has 23 catches. The yardage. Look at this. He has every other receiver beat by 300. He has the next one. And that's the Eagles with the most got the, the most receptions. He has him beat by 300 yards right now. Look at the touchdowns, dude. Are you fucking kidding me, bro? Are you kidding me, bro? The next, the next one down for the highest touchdowns in the league so far, he has them beat by four touchdowns. And we had a bye week already. Bro, the guy with the most catches, he has the most catches in the league. The most catches in the league only has three touchdowns. Come on, man. And he played eight games. He have no fucking bye week yet. Drop my fucking controller, man. What is wrong with these people? Talking all this shit. And it's supposed to be Ravens fans. Look at the goddamn stats. How is our offense struggling, bro? How? How? How is our offense struggling, man? I'm not understanding this. Herndon. Herndon. We just signed him. He got 15 catches. 348 yards. Five touchdowns. How are we struggling, bro? How? McBath. Was our second string wide receiver last year. Is now our third string. He has 14 catches. 235 yards. Two touchdowns. How are we struggling, bro? Look at the backups. The backups are starting to put in work, man. Look at this. Reyna. That's our fourth string wide receiver, man. 11 catches. 100 yards. No touchdowns, but 100 yards. Mundy is getting in the game, man. Nine catches. Nearly 100 yards receiving. Bro. But look, like, this, this goes back to my thing. Like, look how much work Vickers is putting in, man. And for people to say that he's struggling or he's not he's not cutting it at wide receiver is fucking crazy, bro. This man is beast. Another thing I saw was Norman. They were talking shit about Norman. Norman is our starting left outside linebacker, man. Right here. He just got into the league. He's a rookie. He came into the league. At a 70 overall. And in eight weeks, because you can't, like, nine weeks. We're in week nine. He's at a 74 overall. This dude is balling out, man. He's balling. He has six tackles, six solo tackles, six assisted tackles. So 12 tackles in total. Three of those tackles were for a loss of yardage, two of them were sacks. Bro, he's a pass rusher right now. He's balling out. And one of them was a safety. This guy is... He only played 185 downs, man. This dude is balling out right now, man. How are they talking shit about this man? How are they talking shit about this man? And our defense... Like, like, bro, come on, man. Our defense is putting up the, the least amount of yardage, right? Let, let's, let's go to team stats. Let's go to team stats, man. I'm sorry I'm breaking this down for y'all, but when I was reading this news and I was looking at all this shit, the shit was really bothering me. It was pissing me off. So I apologize for making this video about this, but I just had to show you guys, man. Mid-season. We're in mid-season already. And people are coming at our heads. Like, this is crazy, man. Look at this! Our defense has allowed the least amount of yards in the season so far we got him beat by a thousand yards bro how the fuck are they coming at us man look at this we are playing lights out we are seven and oh bro this is in the nfl 1225 yards um allowed so far on the season then the next one the second rated defense 
they have allowed a thousand more yards than us at 2267 yards shit that's over that's over a thousand yards a little over not by much but a little over than a thousand yards bro 884 passing yards allowed 1572 341 rushing yards allowed so far in the season 695 points allowed points allowed fellas like look at this we are ranked number one in total yards allowed we are ranked number one in total pass yards allowed we are ranked number one in total rushing yards allowed shit we're even ranked in total points allowed 63 points man and the the, the next one of the bills 133 bro we are ranked number three in QB sacks. Number ranked number three in QB sacks, man. And we're only beat by three. 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 We got 14. And the Lumberjacks, which I think, if I'm not mistaken, were the Chargers. They got us beat by three. They have 17. Only three more sacks. Fumbles. Fumbles. We don't. We, nah, we don't. We don't really force fumbles like that. <laughs> Man, we only forced one fumble. Oh, fumble recoveries. This is fumble recoveries. We've only recovered one fumble so far this season. That's bad. But interceptions. Damn. The Saints got 11 picks, bro. That's what's up, man. We got six interceptions, if I'm not mistaken. Six. We are balling the fuck out, man. The top-ranked defense in the league right now is the Baltimore Ravens. One of the top ranked offenses in the league. Shit, I, I, if you ask me, it's the Baltimore Ravens, man. Quarterback and wide receiver, like not running the ball wise because we have no run game. I'm just, our offensive line sucks, man. Our tight ends are not good enough to run block and seal those edges. Um, So it, it sucks for us, you know. Um, But passing the ball, man, we have no problem passing the ball. We are throwing dots left and right. Bowlinger, man. 19, 19, guys. 19 touchdowns. And we're in week nine. That's crazy. <laughs> guys. Whew. I know this video was probably long as shit. Just on that rating, that, that ranting alone. I just, I had to get that shit off my chest, man. All right, guys. And another thing I want to point out, man. So far... In week nine, without having played week nine, the MVP ranking so far, guys, Bollinger is number five in competing for an MVP of the National Football League, man. And he's a rookie! Yo, I'm just saying, man. Like I said, guys, when they said that our offense was struggling, man, it was really pissing me off. Coach of the year. Baltimore, baby. Come on, man. AFC Offensive Player of the Year. Vickers is ranked number three. And Bowlinger is ranked number six. We have two guys on this Offensive Player of the Year so far, guys. Two of them, man. Do I see any other people? Let's see. The Bengals. Um, the, the Bills. Is there another Bill here? Oh, shit. There is. Oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> God damn it! Fuck you, Bills! Yo, guys, act like y'all ain't see that, man. Act like y'all ain't see that shit, bro. Fuck! So the Bills got us too, man. Dang, that's what's up, man. Shout out to the Bills, man. They putting in work. They got number one and they got number four. Damn, we got number three and six. The Bills, we gotta step up our game, bro. God damn. All right, but um, here, offensive rookie of the year, man. Act like y'all ain't see that shit, guys. Number one. Number one! Mason Bollinger, man. Bowling out. Bro. It's not even close, man. He's a rookie. He already has 10, 10 legacy. Legacy points, bro. 10 legacy points. Uh, he don't got no legacy points. No legacy, no legacy, no legacy, no legacy, no legacy, no legacy, no legacy. No legacy points, man. Bollinger has 10! He's already get Yo, dude. He's already putting in so much work, man already putting in so much work bro best qb 
Bowlinger is not even on here? I'm not understanding this. I'm not under... B bitch, what? Bitch, what? Hold up. Best... Co MVP of the league. Bowlinger is on this list. He's at number five. For MVP of the league. But somehow, when talking about best quarterbacks in the league, Bowlinger is not on this fucking list? How, how does that even happen? What? You want to talk about MVP of the league, Bowlinger's on the list. You want to talk about offensive rookie of the year, Bowlinger is at number one. Bowlinger is at number six. He's at number six for MVP. Well, number five at MVP. He's at number one for offensive player of... What the... Offensive rookie of the year, excuse me. Offensive rookie of the year, he's number one. Offensive player of the year, he's at number six. So when you want to talk about the best quarterbacks in the league, how the fuck is he not on this list? I'm not understanding that, man. I'm not understanding that. Again, offensive rookie of the year, number one. Offensive player of the year. He's number six. MVP of the league. He's number five. And then when talking about the best quarterbacks in the league, he's not on the list. Bitch, what? How does that even happen? How does that even happen, man? And y'all already know the best wide receiver in the league is Vickers, man. And they were talking about how Vickers isn't cutting it at wide receiver. Bitch, what? They're talking about our offense is struggling when we're 7-0. and And our quarterback and our wide receiver is being mentioned as one of the best in the league. Bitch, what? How? How? I'm just not understanding it, man. I'm just not understanding it, guys. So I'm sorry I had to rant like that and just take up a video, but that shit kind of pissed me off and I just had to get that off my chest, man. So... I will see you guys on the next one, man, because if I throw in a gameplay, man, it's going to be a long-ass video, man, and you guys don't like, I mean, I you can just check the analytics on my YouTube videos. You guys don't like long videos, so I'm sorry for talking your ear off on this one, And but hey, just look at it as a, a season update, man, you know? I, I, I had to let you guys know how we were doing, and like I said, the news really got to me, so I, I apologize, guys. We'll get a gameplay for you guys next episode. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one. I'm out of here.